Hey guys, today we are going to talk about hardened scales, and this is a reprint from Commander 2016. It was reprinted from Carnage of Tarkir. I just wanted to go ahead and say that the price point of $2.31 is somewhat surprising, and there was the moment in time when you could have bought these for $0.51. Cents. Now, this is going to repeat. This graph was going to repeat over and over and over again. When a card is going to get reprinted, such as Doubling Season, and it's EDH good, then the card will go back up to the initial price it kind of started with. So the Carnage of Tarkia version is $1.50. The EDH copy is slightly more expensive. And typically they always are because there are less of them. However, the graph is what I'm most curious about. So it starts at $2.50. It drops to $0.51 cents due to people opening it, vendors opening it, and breaking the breaking the set and then selling these singles. So there is a drop, a plummet in price to $0.51, cents, and then you can go ahead and buy them, buy them, buy them, and then they go back up to pretty much the initial price of $2.31. Now, Modern Masters 2017 will repeat this cycle. As we've gone over a ton of them, like with any of the ones with pro Proliferate have gone up, in Inextortable Tide has gone up, Doubling Season has done well from the original Modern Masters. There has been a lot of EDH staples that just plummets to oblivion, and that is the best time to buy them before they pick up their price again. So this particular graph will be very common in Modern Masters 2017. The question is what cards will it affect, and what cards should we pick up? And that, obviously, I don't know that because I don't have the the particular list of cards, but there will be EDH staples that just fall like a rock after it's been reprinted. And then you let's pick them up, hold them for some time, and then they will go back to their original prices. That's how MTG Finance now works. Uh, it, it revolves around EDH quite a bit. Like EDH is the one format that traditionally still has spikes. Standard is very boring at this current time, and it's not really spiky. I mean, Sahili obviously is the exception, but uh, for the most part, we don't really see too much movement in Standard. Modern is a little, it's tame, I guess I would put it that way, because Wizard of the Coast does not support it on the Pro Tour anymore, and it doesn't see as much camera time as it used to when it was more supported by Wizard of the Coast. Legacy is Legacy. I'm not going to get into my personal opinions about the state of legacy at this moment in time, but EDH, that's the format, right? That's the format that we see spikes all the time. We see consistent spikes and Modern Masters 2017 will be filled with cards like this, a hardened scale, which drop a ton after reprint. And then there's a long time where you can pick them up, a longer, this hardened scale actually recovered much, much faster than I expected it to. But the cards in Modern Master 2017 that are reprinted as commons or uncommons are as bulk rares, especially bulk rares. Keep your eye on those because they have all kind of recovered. Uh, they've largely recovered since Modern Masters 2015 and the original Modern Masters fascinating but it will it all always offers opportunity for those brave enough to take it and this is a lot of fun to me like if you don't have the assets and you don't have the money to put down 15 dollars for a spec or 25 dollars and that's a lot of money for you then you should just play magic the game and enjoy it this is a game upon itself and sometimes it's kind of fun and i will update you guys about what cards i would be interested in picking up in modern masters 2017 when the cards are released when the cards are announced anyway leave me a comment below bye guys